now, 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 now. No other time than right now. If you are watching this, it may be even too late. So make sure to stay tuned right to the very end because in this video, I am going to give you the most beautiful alpha that you could imagine. So make sure to stay tuned. Thank you for being here with me. Guys, I've never seen any of my Jasmine videos hit such low viewership. What on earth is going? Normally in a like a day or two, my Jasmine video is getting like 2,000 views. Like, what's going on here, guys? Let's get going. View that video. There's still lots to be made there. All right. Um, all right. So today in this video, I have a lot of value to share with you. Okay. And I have a very beautiful story. Now, let's start off with some of the news so that we can um, kind of give us a bit of a guide. But before we do the news, of course, you know, check out my Twitter page. I've been pounding information across here for you, even if it's me sharing other people's information. It's what I can manage at the moment for you guys, but I'm keeping you up to date and in the loop as to what is going on right now. So yes, every day I'm not going to be perfect, but I am going to be there and I am going to be here for you. So, you know, would appreciate you sharing just your love here with me. So today the cryptocurrency market cap is pumping. It's at the $2.77 trillion market cap. We're up 3.3% for the day. We're just under the $100 billion trading volume here at $98 billion. Mantra's pumping, Gala's pumping, Ponke kind of dropping, Sensei is nearly at a thousand percent. Imagine if you had gotten to that coin this morning, you would have turned like $100 into a thousand dollars in the morning to the evening. How oh, awesome would that be? Now, there are some crazy freaking meme coins that are coming out here. So expect lots more meme coin videos from this channel because that's just what it is. I have been giving you some really ridiculous meme stuff busy happening out here. And clearly you guys like the memes as well. So I will keep doing that for you. If you like the memes, let me know down in the comments below. So with the cryptocurrency market cap being at this level, BTC is up 4.5% sitting at just the 1.5%. $4 trillion market cap. We're up 2.9% of the day and we're kind of hovering around that 71,000 level at the moment. Ethereum is hovering around the 3,800 level at the moment and um, Tether just doesn't seem to be doing much. I think people are waiting patiently for this breakout to happen and then a lot of this Tether uh, liquidity will certainly be deployed back into Bitcoin, bringing that right into that beautiful pie band. So, looks good, doesn't it? Looks good for the crypto space. You know, with BNB sitting at 700, uh, just under 700, we're now back over a hundred billion dollars for BNB. So, show some love on the channel for BNB because BNB has been part of our journey on this channel for a very, very long time. Solana is also been a part of our journey, and uh, we're sitting at 80, 80 billion dollar market cap there, guys so 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 much stuff is about to happen and unfold here let's move on from that because today the fear and greed index is sitting at 75 i've kept away from showing you this because we have been constantly in the greed um state at the moment and as we know what happened last time there was a little bit of a crash um when we started to kind of come out of greed and into the fear of side of neutral to fear now the banter bubbles today guys are pounding away here you can see there's not much actually in the red out here so brett's down a very small 3.8 percent but brett's been pumping like 70 80 100 percent over the last week or so ordinals which we've been in for a long time casper for a long time theta for a long time near for a long time solana uni dydx opt crow floki guys these things are all stacks ton flow um jupiter ship guys these things are pumping suey if you didn't watch my Sui video, I have such an incredible Sui video for you there. So surprised it didn't get more views than what it did. But hey, I guess you guys love what you love. So on the banter bubbles, lots of green out there in the space today. Pretty awesome stuff happening. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Let's go ahead and see some of this crazy ridiculous news because what I have to share with you today is going to absolutely turn your head inside out. Now, before I do that, make sure to subscribe 
down below using my Bybit link and you can get up to a $30,000 deposit bonus using my Bybit link and there you go. Who's making money with me? Who's making money with me guys? Who's making, now I'm even going to take that and I'm going to put that right over there. Um, in fact, I'll even put it right over there. Okay, because that was the a beautiful level. So now I'm completely in a risk-free trade with my Casper trade and yeah, I hope you are too. If you managed to get into that trade at the same time that I did, well, congratulations to you. That trade should now be at least 433% in profit, depending on how much leverage you took, depending on what that looked like. Uh, and yeah, guys, I guess essentially, I don't know why it's not moving my stop loss, but um, you know, essentially, look at where we're at right now on Casper. So Casper is about to get ready to break up on a new all-time high. And if I zoom out on Casper, well, guess what? You know, Casper has only been going up. Um, it's gone up, pull back up, pull back up. It's going to go up for a little bit, pull back a bit, and then continue up, guys. We are about to go absolutely berserk into this bull cycle. So. Let's just go and have a look at, of course, our very, very beautiful Bitcoin. You guys can go ahead and trade for $30,000 deposit bonus. And now my Bitcoin trade is 3,000% in profit. My ETH is 260% in profit. And my Gala seems to be pumping like crazy today with a 70% in profit trade. Look at what Bitcoin is doing. Bitcoin has bounced very nicely off of the zone. It's kind of built a very nice cup here and a handle which is breaking out of right now. Guys, if you can't see that we're going up. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say, but I'm actually going to even move my stop loss here now nicely uh, on my Bitcoin chart. I don't know why it's not doing it. It's not moving my stop losses. So let's go and do this together. So let's go and say, let's go and move the stop loss up to about 54,000. Okay, because I don't think that we're going to come back down there. Um, that's just the truth and the reality of it. And then Casper was the other one, right? So let's go and see what we wanted to move. But Casper, just I'm showing you guys as to what you could do here on your trades in the chart. So let's go and see what that Casper. Oh, they did move. There you go. Perfect. There you go. So all good in the good. All right. So now, I mean, should I take profits on this trade? If you got into this, have you taken profits? Profits are always good, but. Yes, we're going to probably have a little bit of a pullback, but I mean, yeah, I guess makes money, right? Nobody ever lost money making trades, especially considering the RSI is a little oversold, but this has been the most amount of buy volume that has been coming into Casper these last few days. So it's just one example of perhaps just be patient. So I did release an incredibly awesome shorts for you a few moments ago. You're only seeing this video a little bit later. Go check it out there, guys. And um, I did do this on the Ethereum uh, on the Ethereum chart. So uh, let's go and have a look here. Ethereum hinting at altcoin rebound ahead of a potential super euphoria phase. According to the glass, no founders. What an incredible visage of this. So looking ahead, altcoin market moves despite Ethereum's price action. Jasmine, which I've shown you, which I spoke to you guys. So I did a video for you guys. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I don't know what I can do for you. So I hope that you are enjoying this, but RLC and Pepe show strong rallies. The ETH BTC chart suggests a trend reversal as Ethereum outperforms Bitcoin. Following ETH exchange traded fund 19B forms approval. Historically, June has been favorable for altcoins. Will the trend continue? So let's go and have a look at this. This is the, this is, what chart is this? This is Super Euphoria in crypto. This is MicroStrategy Incorporated on NASDAQ. So super euphoria in crypto yeah i guess it could happen uh I, I suppose it would happen essentially but we're going to have a look there are so many more bullish signs in this space right now and if you are not part of my community i would absolutely certainly advise you to be part of my community but i would certainly not advise you on what to do with a trade however i'm just showing you what it is that i do with my trades and that's why you come to my channel for this crazy awesome alpha so i truly appreciate you being part of my crypto bliss channel i really do thank you so time to move uh for bitcoin approaching says on chain analyst and here's the outlook so uh, checkmate 
tells his people there's a range contraction consolidation leads to range expansion trending Bitcoin is coiled like a spring and it usually doesn't sit still like this for long side uh, sell side risk ratio for short-term holders is dropping like a stone so telling us that it's time to move so this is the this is the sell side risk ratio short term it's dropping like a stone which is what is being said when it drops like a stone as you see here that is when we get these major major pumps and these rallies in bitcoin so i don't know about you but you know us government bonds the bond prices are going down the bond yields are up this is extremely inversely correlated right now and you know things do get a little bit hairy up there as you can see and then you have these major crashes on yields and then crazy pumps back on uh bond prices which sends property prices through the roof guys what do you think is going to happen here we're about to get some printing galore so crypto trader says ai altcoins will rally during the current months we have been speaking about ai infinitely on this channel and i have yet to do my video for you and i need to catch up and keep up so i will be doing some videos for you over the next few days make sure to stay subscribed to my channel because as you can see i am bringing you value i am telling you a narrative that is very heated and hot right now in the market and you are still pretty much averagely early we'll talk about that when i show you my charts towards the end so altcoin sherpa um, says that the render bitch a um r weave rss3 uh, echelon prime look at these things they're all getting ready to pretty much pop. and this is the uh, altcoin market cap so we'll go ahead and we'll talk about that right now while we're here okay because this is the total in fact let's go and check our total two first so total two is inclusive of ethereum now ethereum is the signaler for alt season to start like we've just seen and like i've been previously saying so if ethereum has not yet got its buy signal from our ut bots alerts okay we're not ready however if you have positioned yourself very nicely and accumulated within this extremely strong bull flag pattern which will take us up to that target which is the previous all-time highs of ethereum we would possibly see that this momentum blue line indicator would bounce off of the red and continue to push up to the upside pulling us like a long straight line like this which is essentially a move like that one two your macd is got very little sell pressure and in a lot more buy pressure this is swinging over one another right now so we're getting some energy back into the momentum that's why it's a momentum oscillator and then the same thing here with the stochastic guys the stochastic's right down here at the bottom ready to make its way up so we have to break out of this flag probably hit the top here okay of the flag as the test and then retest this breakout zone and then continue up the flag it doesn't just happen like okay although it can as you can see okay but here it punched retested and then punched okay that's generally what does happen so let us go and look at the total two because the total two is very much the same as ethereum except the total two seems to have a little bit more momentum coming out of its um out of its flag right now you can see it's the exact same pattern why is that because ethereum is the king of altcoins and it is the leader in the space to tell us when to go up or down now We've had the RSI crossover, the same story on the MACD, and the same story on the RS um, on the PMO. PMO is the price moving oscillator. Plus, we're on the ribbons, guys. We're literally this was the first time that we broke out and of the EMA ribbon and we're retested. Well, in your previous cycle, when that happened, okay, that was the first breakout move of the ribbon to back to the upside that ended up in a potential move of a 150 percent move so what would a 150 percent move be from that exact point well guess what a 150 percent move would take us probably up to like a 2.7 trillion dollar altcoin market cap and right now guys we're sitting at 1.16 including ethereum that's excluding now 
The difference here is that altcoin season has begun. Okay. And why is that? Well, here is my buy signal. I'm getting ready. Why is that? Because there is some down swapping resistance. So yes, we might pull back and then kind of bounce off of the ribbon. But the same story is happening here. We're getting ready to break this energetic momentum of this down sloping trend, which is going to take us with this bull flag pennant pattern as usual from there to there is a bull flag right back up to the top there, giving us a massive, massive explosion. Now, let us do the same as what we did on Ethereum. When the ribbons turned, okay, we then made another 150%. As you can see, it's been led by Ethereum. Now, if you don't think that Ethereum is the leader of the altcoin space, I don't know what we can do to help you, but I mean, another 150% gives us a new all-time high um, of basically here, more or less, and gives us a $1.72 trillion altcoin excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum market cap. That's damn juicy, guys. And hence why I'm saying to you, this season is about to pop like you cannot believe. I have shown you projects, plenty of projects here that you could make tons and tons of money from, just as you have been with me and my channel. Now, I showed you Ordinals yesterday, right? Ordinals is part of the coin. We're making a triple bottom, okay? A shoulder, a head, and a shoulder. We're getting ready to bust all the way back out here which is going to give us the same move okay to break out kind of hover around this level while the emas come back up here guys in fact i'm gonna leave that on there for now i hope you can see this okay it's very obvious as to where the levels are in crypto okay let's go carry on but why see i o matt hogan Hugen says crypto climate in Washington smells like alpha. Another bullish article, right? So very simple. The reason this smells like alpha to me is that outside of the crypto bubble, no one cares. Okay. Mm, what does that actually mean? Well, guess what? Institutions are coming in and investing like crazy. States are coming in and investing like crazy. Bitcoin indicators are flipping bullish like I've just showed you as US potential banking crisis looms, according to analyst Jamie Coots. Guys, um, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC, has reported that 63 US banks are on the brink of an insolvent collapse. This is due to banks sitting on $517 billion in unrealized losses. In other words, their stop losses are about to be hit, okay? Meanwhile, after some nice coiling pricing action since March, my boring Bitcoin trend model triggers. Dixie down, yields and corp spreads lower. Can you smell that, son? That's the smell of central bank liquidity in the air. What does that mean? Are these banks going to collapse or is more money going to be printed so that they can add to their baskets and lower the risk of the 517 billion? I'm sure some will take a hit, no doubt, but probably we're going to see some heavy heavy money printing as we see even central banks uh, cbdc's come alive and guess what qatar announces their cbdc project i'm not going to go into this with you but qatar have announced their cbdc project do you think it's not going to happen across the world well it is okay do you like it or not now this is one of my favorite articles that i've been waiting to share with you this entire video Mr. Peter Brunt predicts Bitcoin bull market with BTC potentially reaching a 150k level. Um, okay, so he's saying August or early September 2025 with the price of Bitcoin potentially reaching 150k. And um, he remains cautious, assigning a 25% prob probability that cryptocurrency has already peaked the cycle. I don't think so, but 130 to 150k range is what he's saying. Um, and here is the chart when you have a, uh, a closer look at this chart you can't really see but you can see there's 160k and that's according to this very rounded edged top over here possibly um absolutely possibly that's not impossible 
Uh, but truthfully, guys, we are just about to get ballistic because Bybit is reports. A Bybit report shows growing popularity of meme coins amongst institutional and retail investors. So, we saw a large jump in institutional meme coin allocations from February to March. Okay, indeed, we saw a large jump February to March, increasing their spot holdings 226% to 204 million. They increased uh, still more in April, bringing their meme coin holdings to about nearly 300 million dollars. Why would they be spending $300 million on shit coins, okay, if these shit coins aren't going to go anywhere? Well, guys, as I've shown you, 478% increasing. These guys, these institutions are looking at things like Dodge, um, Pepe, Shiv, and a number of others in the space that are part of the bigger players. It just is what it is. Meme coins are massive and they will continue to be massive. Now, the VC billionaire Chamath Palakpatiya explains that the 500k Bitcoin price case, countries will become dual currency, which I like. Um, and I'm not going to share any videos or anything, but the simple of this is that it might reach 500k on the basis that certain countries across the world will be adopting Bitcoin much faster and some countries won't adopt the coin um, which means that what's going to happen is essentially yeah there's an increasing uh, body of countries that will become dual currency and they will look at their local currency and then they will look at bitcoin and they will say both of these two things are needed very simple and i'm not going to go further into that because uh, furthermore, Palahapatiya stressed that Bitcoin has the possibility of completely replacing gold, starting to become something that has transactional utility for hard assets. Now, if you are part of my channel, you guys would have seen that I put that in here, I put that in here. It is literally the king of the world. There is no asset better than Bitcoin. So if you have not yet invested, then use my link down below. Buy it, get yourself some spot Bitcoin or trade with me on derivatives. The same with my Bitflex link down below. Together, you can get yourself up to $128,888 bonus just for you. Okay, my special, special people. So thank you for being here with me on this channel. I do appreciate you. Let us go and have a look at the dominance because now the dominance is kind of pushing up a little bit, but we're a little overheated um, on the stochastic RSI. The MACD is punching up a little bit and having a little bit of a trend kind of reversal, but we could just pop around here, you know, and hit this kind of sideways level and then continue to bounce here before making lower highs essentially because now we have already been making that lower high. So that would be my next level of resistance essentially is that job. like i said and that leads us to that beautiful horizontal resistance too so bitcoin today uh sorry yesterday had a buy signal plus it found a very strong support zone on this upward trend plus we had a nice bullish flip here on the ema ribbon um, we're a little overheated though on the daily stochastic the macd is just getting going and the pmo is about to just get going so we're busy breaking out here with strong buy signals and as you can see every single time there has been a buy signal we have continued to punch up now isn't that very very beautiful well if it is and you enjoyed this you guys much love to you all and we'll see you on the next one you best souls make sure to hit my links down below get free crypto i've mined Kai network down below in the description of this video i've mined seventy thousand dollars worth of pi network crypto for absolutely free it's taken me a year and a half but for free so if you want the same that's why you are part of this channel because i share secrets and tips in crypto just for you to make money